So even you're still at the very beginning, that's a very, very important phase in order to get everything right from the very beginning and to really to set the framework for your project implementation. And this startup phase, it covers actually various steps and tasks, which we will address today. So first we will do deal with mostly the formal requirements like the contracting, but also we will touch the management issues, the management structures, the setting up of the monitoring plan, um, the control system the, to, to, to contact control bodies and setting up the audit trail, procurement procedures to so all um, finance issues. And last but not least, what is of course very important is setting up also the frame for your communication. If we can move to the next, as I, I, I was mentioning, of course, the first um, important point is the contract. And the subsidy contract will be sent to you very soon um, in the forthcoming weeks. So I suppose rather um, at the beginning of April. And the subsidy contract um, constitutes um, the legal framework between the lead partner and um, the managing authority. Um, when you receive the subsidy contract offer by email, the lead partner has two months for accepting and signing the subsidy contract. So this means after two months, actually the, um, the offer um, loses its validity and um, the managing authority might decide then whether or whether not to, to enter into this contract. So please be aware that you have two months for um, accepting and signing the offer. Um, the signatures should be done either um, manually or also digitally um, um, with a qualified electronic signature by the legal representative of the lead partner. So that's also important that um, the really the um, legal um, representative, meaning the person responsible um, in terms of also um, the project then um, um, is the one signing the contract. If we go to the next, so this means this is one document, which is the um, contract, between, it's a bilateral document between the lead partner and the managing authority. And there is another document, which is the partnership agreement. And this is actually a multilateral agreement between the lead partner and all of its project partners. So for this, um, the program provides a template, a model template, which um, you can use. And it's um, including the minimum compulsory requirements. You can, of course, adapt this um, template of the partnership agreement by adding additional clauses, which you might consider necessary or not. So this is really up to the project to decide. And also the partnership agreement must be signed by the lead partner and all of the project partners. And there are actually two options um, for the signature. So it could be either one document which is signed by the whole partnership, or it could be also bilateral documents um, to be signed between the lead partner and, and uh, one partner. And there is also a time frame for the signature of the partnership agreement so this needs to be signed within three months after the subsidy contract between the lead partner and the managing um, authority has entered into force. So this means three months after the, after the counter signature by the managing authority. 